Hi, third grade. I'm here today to bring you our first read aloud. I know we're reading Lulu, but this read aloud is just a book that I think you're really going to enjoy. The title of it is Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge. And it's written by Mem Fox, illustrated by Julie Vivas. Take a look at the pit, at the front cover. You can get an idea right off the bat who two of our characters may be. Find a cozy spot and sit back and listen. There once was a small boy called Wilford Gordon McDonald Partridge. And what's more, he wasn't very old either. His house was next door to an old people's home and he knew all the people who lived there. He liked Mrs. Jordan, who played the organ. He listened to Mr. Hosking, who told him scary stories. He played with Mr. Trippet, who was as crazy about who was crazy about cricket. You may know what cricket is. It's a kind of game played with a paddle. Almost was like a brush. He ran errands for Miss Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. He admired Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. But his favorite person of all was Miss Nancy Allison Delacourt Cooper. Why do you think that was his favorite person? Because she had four names just like he did. He called her Miss Nancy and told her all his secrets. One day, Wilford Gordon heard his mother and father talking about Miss Nancy. Poor old thing, said his mother. Why is she a poor old thing? asked Wilford Gordon. Because she's lost her memory. And his fa said his father. It isn't surprising, said his mother. After all, she is 96. What's a memory? asked Wilford Gordon. He was always asking questions. What is a memory? Tell me. I know I can't hear you, but say what you think it is. Let's see if you're right. It is something you remember, said his father. But Wilford Gordon wanted to know more. So he called on Mrs. Jordan, who played the organ. What's a memory? he asked. Something warm, my child. Something warm. He called on Mr. Hosking, who told him scary stories. What's a memory, he asked. Something from long ago, me lad. Something from long ago. This is a silly picture. He called on Mr. T Tippett, who was crazy about, do you remember? Cricket. What's a memory, he asked. Something that makes you cry, my boy. Something that makes you cry. He called on Miss Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. What's a memory, he asked. Something that makes you laugh, my darling. Something that makes you laugh. He called on Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a, do you remember? Giant. What's a memory, he asked. Something as precious as gold, young man. Something as precious as gold. Do you agree with all those definitions of memory? I agree. So there really probably isn't just one definition for a memory. Uh-oh, look at this silly picture. So Wilfred Gordon went home again to look for memories for Miss Nancy because she had lost her own. Think he's a little confused, boys and girls? He looked for the shoebox of shells he had found long ago last summer and put them gently in a basket. He found the puppet on a string, which always made everyone laugh, and he put that in the basket too. He remembered with sadness the medal which his grandfather had given him, and he placed it gently next to the shells. Next, he found his football, which was as precious as gold. And last of all, on his way to Miss Nancy's, he went into the hen house and took a fresh, warm egg from under the hen. Here he goes, friends. Then Wilford Gordon called on Miss Nancy and gave her each thing one by one. What a dear, strange child. 
to bring me all these wonderful things, thought Miss Nancy. Then she started to remember. She held the warm egg and told Wilford Gordon about the tiny speckled blue eggs she had once found in a bird's nest in her aunt's garden. She put a shell to her ear and remembered going to the beach by, tra by tram long ago and how hot she had felt in her button-up boots. Think about our, our word of the day, appropriate. You think boots would be appropriate for the beach? Yikes, she was hot. She touched the metal and talked sadly of the big brother she had loved who had gone to war and never returned. She smiled at the puppet on a string and remembered the one she had, had shown to her sister and how she had laughed with a mouth full of porridge. Porridge is like oatmeal, kind of. You can see the picture of her playing. She bounced the football to Wilford Gordon and remembered the day she had met him and all the secrets they had told. And the two of them smiled and smiled because Miss Nancy's memory had been found again by a small boy who wasn't very old either. And if you look at the front picture, kind of similar to the back. And that is the end. So that is Wilford Gordon McDonald Partridge. Remember, what is a memory? Do you think Wilford was a very kind person to help Miss Nancy, his friend? Lesson from this story, boys and girls, is it's always great to help a friend. We're not always happy. We're not always feeling the best. But if we can make somebody else smile, just like Wilford did, it's a good day for everybody. All right, guys, have a good day.